Hello everyone and welcome to beginner tutorial series where we will be programming visually in Unity game engine. My name is Luca and I come from Slovenia. In this tutorial series we will not be writing a single line of code. Everything will be done with Playmaker add-on. This is a visual scripting add-on for Unity. This series is made for beginners so I will explain everything that we will be using. You don't need to have any knowledge in game development. As the series progresses it will get more and more complex, so if you are already familiar with Playmaker then this tutorial series is also for you, but you might want to skip the first few videos. As you may or may not heard that English is not my first language, so there will be times where my pronunciation will be a bit weird. But luckily you are not here to learn English, but you are here to learn how to make games. So I would like to thank you for showing interest in my tutorial series. So now enough of talking, let's get down to business. Now let me show you what first part of the tutorial series will be about. The first video will be about installing and registering Unity. Then, after this is completed, we will go on setting up the project. So, we will import the Playmaker, fonts, textures and we will name the project and save it accordingly. So, one thing to notice is importing the Playmaker. Playmaker is a paid asset, so it costs real money. Basically, right now it's on sale. As you can see, $65, 30% sale, regular price is $95, so you have to keep that in mind, otherwise you can't do visual programming, because Playmaker is the extension that makes all this happen. So if we go back, then we will construct borders. So let me show you what I mean with that. These are basically the borders of our punk game and don't be afraid of all of these because we will start from scratch. This is just the example project so I can show you what the end result will look like. And then we will move on actual visual programming. So then we will make the pedals. So these are pedals and we will make them move up and down and we will restrict their movement so they can't go past these borders. Then next step is the very simple AI. Basically this will be player 1 computer. Let me just show you real, real quick. This is player 1 and this is, this is me. So this is computer and uh, as you can see he follows the ball up and down. And if I if I do some trick shots, he will be too slow to catch the ball. Yeah, he just he just got it. And you will also see the the score system. Basically, see now I scored, then I have one point. Now he scored, he has one point. So next up is the ball movement. We just looked at that. Basically, ball bounces from edges and once it hits the left and right borders it it destroys itself and you can see displaying scores next which just puts one more score towards the player who scored and then we have main menu we saw, we saw that for a bit you can see five buttons so then also the high scores um, high scores will be done with arrays. Uh, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. All will be explained um, when we do it. Then we will also do various difficulties, um, difficulty settings for AI computer. As you can see here, we have level 1, level 2, and level 3 which is locked. So 
level 1 computer is obviously the easiest and level 3 is the hardest um, and also you can see locking of the levels so now you can see I completed level 1 so level 2 is unlocked but um, level 3 is still locked so in order to unlock level 3 you would need to beat level 2 obviously so also level system will be done and also player versus player system will be done so one player controls one pedal and second player controls the other pedal so in the first part of tutorial series we will just make old school punk the one that we were just watching with all those features um, this is the easiest thing uh, and then we will move on to a bit harder things which is the battle punk this is a variation of the punk it basically has the power ups in it um, so when the ball hits the power ups uh, some things will happen such as you will get enlarged um, pedal or you will shrink your pedal or the ball will move faster and all sorts of crazy things like that uh, and then we will move on even hardest thing which is multiplayer punk and this will basically be um, over the internet uh, with photon library uh, so yeah this will be three parts well thanks for watching the introduction video and hopefully you will stick around and go through this tutorial series and I think it will really help you if you want to make games if you don't want to learn coding like I don't want to stare at those numbers and all those lines of code I just want like intuitive uh, design in the next video you will see um, example of uh, how quickly and easily uh, one can make something with uh, help of visual programming without writing any code so thanks for watching and hopefully we we'll see each other in the next videos have a nice day